डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हेलो लर्नर्स आई रितु गोर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इंग्लिश एट बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी वेलकम्स यू ऑल इन द फर्स्ट ईयर बैचलर्स इन इंग्लिश वीडियो सीरीज फासन योर सीट बेल्ट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टूवर्ड्स द जर्नी ऑफ लिटरेचर एंड कल्चर सो आर यू रेडी सो लेट स्टार्ट आर सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर टूडे सेशन विथ यूनिट थर्टीन In unit 13 we are going to learn about the introduction the concept of literature the concept of culture and relationship between literature and culture in some of the keywords let's start today's session with the wonderful quote e m foster has said that what is wonderful about great literature is that it transforms the man who reads it towards the condition of the man who wrote and brings to birth in us also the creative impulse let me remind you that whenever you are in the 12th standard or any uh, you have read any poetry any drama any novel what happened at that time the wonderful about great literature is it transform the man who reads it so whenever we are reading literature we had some notion we can relate it to the person let me give you the example of seven steps in the sky in gujarati the book's name is saat pagla akashma written by kundanika kapadia so in that novel whenever you are reading it you can come to know that what happened at the time with the woman so in that way we are reading it and the condition of the man who wrote it so at that time when the kundanika kapadia has written that book so what exactly happened at that time at that time what was the condition of woman and what was the surrounding what were the tradition so it brings to birth in us also the creative impulse so whenever we are reading we uh, feel something we may even connect with the character or uh, any person or some incident of our life so that is the wonderful thing about literature now what is the concept of literature the word literature derives from the latin word litera a letter of the alphabet the latin word for literature was simply the plural litera and this basic sense literature embraces everything is written uh, this is a very important point for your exam point of view because it the, the there might be a question like in which language the word there might be a question about that from which language this literature word come from so at that time you should remember that it comes from the latin word as you know in english language it is the english language is a very flexible language so english has adopted so many words from the greek latin french so here the literature word comes from the word latin word litera so earlier time that is considered in literature what is literature so that everything is written it was used to say that it is in a general sense there are two terms in a broad way and narrow terms oral or written what is more important here is that these words are supposed to stimulate the imagination and confront the reader with a unique vision of life so what is important here is even the oral or written literature that make no difference of course when it comes to oral because earlier there was a oral tradition so but when it comes to written it is it is a documentation so it is a very important but apart from this some important thing is that words are supposed to stimulate the imagination so uh, maybe your favorite poetry or drama or anything you should remember it so whenever you are reading it it something happened within you this stimulate the imagination here i have given the example of wonderful poems of robert frost stopping by woods on a snowy evening here the poet uh, described the snowy evening but look at the title stopping by not someone stopping by woods woods because 
when the poet was going somewhere and it was a winter and snowy evening so the woods that forest was so lovely and there are last stanza there are some four lines which is really remarkable in english literature i would like to recite that the woods are lovely dark and deep but i have promises to keep miles to go before i sleep miles to go before i sleep here in the literal meaning is that miles to go before i sleep here literal meaning of sleep doesn't mean that just go to the bed at night no figuratively the poet wants to convey the feeling that the emotion that stimulate the imagination that the woods are lovely dark and deep means even in our life sometimes the surroundings is so great we feel comfortable we find that okay this is the heaven but i have promises to keep maybe promises to ourselves promises to the family or society so there may be so many promises that i have to fulfill and if i want to fulfill that promises i cannot stand here i have to move forward i have to go further miles to go before i sleep sleep means before death we don't know when will the do- uh, we don't know that when will death come and knocks our door so it is important that we should do our work and of course the surroundings was so captivated that the poet wants to stay there more but the he has to go in the same way in our life when something is so comfortable so great but if we have some promises to keep if we have some goals to achieve then we should go further so here the lines come the with a unique vision of life so by reading poetry or drama or any literature about the great literature we feel the same unique vision of life in the 18th century literature was viewed as well written books of an imaginative or creative kind so in the 18th century the definition is changed like now not everything that is written even the article in newspaper or the news in newspaper it is not literature so in 18th century they refined that what is well written books of imaginative or creative kind creation is very important because whenever uh, there is in literature some kind of imagination some kind of creativity should be there good literature is said to demonstrate craft and artistry and has the power to raise questions provide fresh point of view and expand the understanding of self and the world this is the quality of a good literature okay so we have started with this example of seven steps in the sky if you haven't read it it is also available in gujarati sat pagla akashma you must read it here that it power to raise questions in sat pagla akashma and the seven steps in the sky there is a central character named vasuda she raised the question that is it okay to do whole life the only household chores is it okay to just being a wife mother or daughter in law is it okay it raises a question provide a fresh point of view because in the end vasuda has transformed herself and what she has done in the end that there is a place where she went and how she changed the whole life that expand the understanding of the self and the world so for exploration even sometimes to understand yourself literature helps through the character through the story line through the plot climax so this is a power of great literature it raises question it also gives solution now the concept of culture again from the mcq point of view you should remember that english word culture is derived from the latin term cult or cultus meaning tilling or cultivating or refining and worship in some it means cultivating and refining a thing to such an extent that its end product evokes our admiration and respect this is practically the same as sanskriti or sanskrit language the term sanskriti has been derived from the root kri means to do of sanskrit language three words came from this root kri means prakriti basic matter or condition 
संस्कृति रिफाइंड मैटर और कंडीशन एंड विकृति मीन्स मॉडिफाइड और डिकेड मैटर और कंडीशन वेन प्रकृति और अ रो मटीरियल इज रिफाइंड इट बिकम संस्कृति एंड वेन ब्रोकन और डेमेज इट इट बिकम्स विकृति संस्कृति एंड विकृति दे बोथ आर ऑपोजिट वॉट इज संस्कृति इट इज अ टर्म इज रिफाइंड कल्चर नाउ लेट मी रिमाइंड द एंशियन टाइम्स हाउ द ह्यूमन बींग इवोल्व्स इन एंशियन टाइम्स द ह्यूमन्स डोंट हैव द प्रोपर नोशन हाउ टू ईट हाउ टू स्पीक एंड इवन वॉट टू वेर If you remember your childhood days, you have seen the pictures of uh, the. You have seen the pictures of a man wearing nothing but just cover some parts of the body with leaves, right? And how evolving day by day, and now we have a refined term, refined oil. You might have seen that in every oil. So refined, which is very pure, very nourished form. So that is refined culture. so sanskriti means now we have to do sanskriti refined matter or condition and vikriti which is very opposite of sanskriti where something uh, the belief the norms which is not acceptable in our culture so that is a concept of culture it is generally accepted that culture embodies the way human live with and treat others and how they develop or react to change in their environment you might have seen the different cultures right so in gujarat in punjab everywhere the culture is different in some culture people greet with namaskara some greet with hi hello some greet with some other kind of gesture so it differs from person to person it differs from the region now how the way human live with and treat others that is very important that how you can talk with another person it shows your culture you know sometimes something happened and we says oh that person is not cultured this is this is not our culture we can't do it so what does it mean exactly that how we should behave how we should treat others and how to react to change in the environments so that is called culture definition of culture in broad and narrow sense so there is little c and big c it is also very important in your question as well first let me tell you about little c that is b b v belief behavior and values belief what is belief that i believe in something i believe as gandhi ji's belief was truth non violence and his behavior should whatever your belief is there it should demonstrate it should up- apply in your behavior and that is very important thing and values so this little see considered this three belief behavior and values big c it shows about music literature and art it also uh, differ from this culture to culture so even music there are classical music uh, classical music jazz music western modern music so pop music in that way it is very different from in the culture now relation between literature and culture literature reflects the history of civilization all the written manifestation of culture from literature now let me tell you when whenever writer poet or dramatist whatever they are writing it is of course influenced from the culture around them and it is also depict the history of the particular time so literary so literature reflects the history of civilization literature teaches us to engage with the past we don't know what exactly happened in the past what were the scenario how they were living what were their belief what were their values we don't know anything about that but we can come to know through this literature Shakespeare, Milton, Chinua Achebe, Virginia Woolf all take us to a journey into the society of a past time. What kind of people lived in that society? How they behaved? And what were the norms of life they followed? All this is the subject of literature. Earlier I told you about the seven steps in the sky, right? So at that time when Kundanika Kapadia has written this novel At that time, that it was the pathetic condition of a woman. 
that how suffocated how toxic environment it was and how it should changed from time to time so that point of past that history is depicted here in this way kundani ka kapadia has mentioned that how women's need change how the women's condition should be evolving right so in that way kundanika kapadia has written seven steps in the sky so every literature every piece of art is depicted some kind of narration from the past shakespeare of course you know the greatest dramatist of english literature he has written so many dramas plays which depicted how the women were there and the women were not allowed to play as an artist so they have a gender role and how the male performed as a female so that was the scenario and the king and the queen and what were their conspiracy and everything that if we uh, it is very wonderfully said in literature that of course we can't meet great authors right now maybe you are a fan of shakespeare we can't meet him right now but through the literature through his dramas through his sonnet so whatever the person the literary artist has written at that time we can meet him chinua achibe milton i have put some pictures in a very chronicle matter in a very chronicle season so sorry i have put all these pictures of shakespeare milton chinua achibe and virginia wolf so you get familiarize with them through pictures so first is shakespeare second is chinua achibe third is milton milton has written the paradise lost wonderful thing about devil and satan and how the quote he has given to us that it is better to reign in the hell than to serve in heaven so how adam and eve and what were the belief of religion at that time he has depicted wonderfully in paradise lost virginia wolf generally we had this notion that this woman and the freedom and feministic things only in india but no virginia wolf is not indian even at that time she has written the book called a rooms of one own what is a rooms of one own it shows that a girl a woman needs her own room why own room where she can live for herself every girl every woman needs some freedom and for that she has written a rooms of one own because only and only then the because only that is helping the women to nourish to become great so they all take us to a journey into the society of a past time so they have depicted this is just an example there are so many literature uh, the literary artists the poet dramatists and every age has their own characteristics every age has their own literature and they shows us what is relationship between literature and cultures because at that time when it was written what was the culture what were their belief it is surely mentioned in the literary work and through that poet or dramatist wants to tell us that how it was at that time in our unit 14 you are going to learn about the gora the novel gora by ravindranath tagore where you can learn more about that how the relationship between literature and culture is mentioned in the particular timeline the particular author is trying to tell us about the whole thing in conclusion literature emerges out of culture and cultures is propagated by literature it is mutually beneficial connection that they have if culture is a way of life literature drafts it in the most authentic manner history is only a record of events literature is actually record of people so here in the conclusion i'm trying to convey that how the relationship between literature and culture is both together go in hand in hand in literature and it is mutually beneficial connection that they have because of course that the 
importance of literature and importance of culture is both go into hand in hand if culture is a way of life literature drafts it in the most authentic manner so culture is a way of life means how we have to live so literature drafts it it makes the documentation of in a most authentic manner and history is not just a record of events so if you read a history you might not get stimulate the imagination you might not feel something you just remember okay that's happened in the history but when it comes to the literature it gives the record of people and there are some literary form like allegory so you can directly not write about the political event because at that time the democracy was not there so you cannot write about some person some political figure but you can write about the person about whom you want to portray in a same way but with different name so that is a charm of literature with imagination that unique vision of life it must be that so in that way literature and culture both go into hand and there is a relationship between them so you need in in next lecture unit 14 we are going to deep into this with the ravindranath tagore's novel gora thank you Smart, yeah, yeah,